<laughs> in the cut, Benzino the hero, Rob Jiggity, back at it again. No Anakin, just another Skywalker. Skywalker in the cut, Benzino underscore the hero. Follow me on Twitter. Follow at Rob Jiggity. T Trey in the cut. T Trey underscore 94. On this episode of T underscore Trey 94, my bad. It's all right. My bad. So on this show, Jiggity. Yeah. Talk about it. What we all right. So we're discussing a major event that just happened. Chris Bosch has been ruled unable to play because of blood clots in his lungs. Damn. This has been a, a recurring problem for him because he had blood clots in his legs a couple seasons ago. Mm-hmm. And now he's probably not going to play ball again with blood clots in his lungs. When hearing this news, did it come as a surprise to you that he will not be playing again as a Miami Heat? Because Pat Riley said, because Bosch uh, last week was like, yo, I can play. You know, I, I'm, I'm healthy now. I can play. But Pat Riley today announced, yo, Bosch, it's it's looking slow for you here. Thoughts? Well, um, Pat, I knew I knew it was going to be a problem because a blood clot in your legs, you could do a surgery for that. In the lungs, it's going to be a lot harder to, to fix that problem. What sport does Chris Bosch play? Basketball. And what does he need to uh, live? Uh, what's, what's a key component? I mean, lungs. Lungs. <laughs> like, lungs. <laughs> that has nothing to do with basketball. Yes, it does. He's running down the court. Imagine you walking with no lungs, man. I would. I don't know. Exactly. Is that impossible? Exactly. Is that impossible? That's a conundrum. I play cranium. <laughs> <laughs> Operation. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. But Chris Bosh will not be playing for the Heat, most likely. Yes. Chris Bosh's career in Miami. Before that, talk about Chris Bosh in Toronto. What type of player was he? He was um he was a talented player, skilled jump shooter, clutch player. I was looking at his um his clutch moments uh this morning. Especially I like the like the play the play that stood out to me the most was the game winner on St. Patrick's Day on Al Horford, right in his face. In his mug. Jab step, <laughs> step back, going to his right, fade away. Just held it right in Al Horford's face. That's that's the moment that I like about Chris Bosh the most. That that moment, that moment really, really changed my life. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, when that when I, I saw that happen, real time the day after. No, no, I didn't see it live. <laughs> I oh, caught you. Side. I caught you, son. <laughs> I mean, also even with Toronto though. I mean, that year, like right before he went to Miami, he did average the most with Toronto. Actually, in general, like points and rebounds wise, with. With the Raptors, twenty-four points and ten rebounds per game. So like that, like that's the year you know, right before he mm-hmm. went to Miami too. With Chris Bosh coming out of this two thousand and three draft class, yeah, being the third best player in this draft class. Third? Who? Who's? We gotta go. Wait. wait LeBron, wait. D Wade, Melo. Oh, fourth. Uh, he's fourth. the fourth yeah, best. Actually. Fourth. Excuse me. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Andy, where's number four? <laughs> In Toronto. In Toronto, yeah. In Toronto. Now let's talk about him in Miami. He was the guy coming in, you know, until he LeBron the, signed with him. Mean, yeah. I mean, we all, I'm pretty sure we all knew He's that was He's the third happening. wheel? He was the third wheel. Yeah. Talk about but, it. We, we, we knew, but let's be real. Like, as soon as we as soon as soon we found out that, you know, when we found out that Chris Bosh and LeBron James and LeBron. were both, you know, free agents, first we found out Chris Bosh was going to the Heat. Boshy. And then after that, let's be real, we knew... LeBron James. I mean, we, we didn't Miami. know LeBron. It was kind of obvious, though. Like how? It gold was covered in gold. C three PO. James to Florida. Evidence. <laughs> Let the good times roll. Twenty ten. <laughs> Blueprint three came out in November. It was just an obvious year. thing. Like, like as soon as it, oh, it said, as soon as like no. you know, we knew Wade's already there. Chris Bosh. As soon as they say, oh, Bosh is signing with Miami Heat. I was like, all right, let's let's be real. LeBron's going to Miami Heat, especially if it was, it was already in the talks that he was going to Miami too. It was Miami, Cleveland, and and the Knicks. Yeah. And, you know, let's be real, though. It's like, he wasn't going to the Knicks. I'm sorry, Ben. I knew he wasn't going I knew he wasn't going back to the Cavs because of the fact it's like, all right, he wants to win a ring. So we knew it was just almost inevitable, the, the fact that Ooh. as soon as we found out that Chris Bosh was going to the Heat, I that LeBron saying. James was going. I got you Like, saying. you get it, right? You understand, yeah, right? But he was that third-wheel guy, though, feel me? The three of them. Their whole press conference, you know, because Bosh is a part of the press conference. You know, he's yeah. all hyped. LeBron saying not one, not two, five, six, seven. That, you mean that big three? Yeah, right the there. big three. What do you consider that a bust? 
No. Um, but the year that they went? No. no the, 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 whole, the whole 10 years? The 10 oh, years. No, had, not really. Uh, they had two out of what? Four years. That Le- like, I mean, when LeBron was there and everything. You know, two like, out of with four that years? Big three? Yeah, that's yeah. good. And and the, the, what's it called? And the... They went and they went to the championship all four like yeah. four times. No, that wasn't a bust. I'm kind of hyped, even though I'm a D Wade fan. I'm hyped they lost that first year. I, I'm not. It? That was because that was old. Because they were talking all kinds of hot mess. I know they were, but like against the Mavericks, that was like yeah. Dirk the, Dirk deserved that. Dirk killed. Dirk killed. Nah, the thing was with that too. Like when you watch that finals too, Chris Bosh was even really guarding Dirk in that fi- in that finals game. Really, how many that finals? On him. How many finals? Chris Bosh really was a factor. Uh, the one against the Spurs. The one, yeah, the one against the Spurs. When he when he hit the three in, in uh oh yeah Tim Duncan's face. Yeah, to, and to the, the one when, when, when he, he got the rebound, block. he got the rebound and he and he gave, and yeah he, he had the game winning block. The game winning block, block green. too. On, on oh. Yeah, green. like so that Spurs one was the biggest. When it went up against OKC, it was like eh, it was not five games. Chris Foss was, wasn't a factor. Yeah. It was five games, so it's like until the until the the Spurs one. The one that real you know the most one of the most important ones the one you know against the Spurs and everything. Yeah, because Chris Bosh. Uh, underrated as a clutch performer, probably he has one of the highest, uh, highest um, percentages in clutch moments at all active players. But still, with the Heat, we're still calling him third fiddle. Yeah, yes, obviously. Third when fiddle you have that tenure, when you have yes, LeBron, definitely. probably the most ball dominant player in the game. You have D Wade, another player that needs the ball. Chris Bosh is a was primarily an ISO one on one face up player. That's kind of, but the thing is, it it kind of helped him. Uh, after LeBron left, after LeBron left, that? it kept it helped him uh, expand his game because after LeBron left, you see him pulling from three a lot more often. He had a uh, game winning three pointer against um, Atlanta with a uh, injured D Wade. His numbers went up too though, but like he, you know, like the year that after that all that happened, that's mm-hmm. when he got the blood clot in his. Le- it was in his legs or his lungs first actually. Legs, his legs, legs yeah, legs. that's when he got it first. See, w- the thing is with Bosh through his career, we knew he was nice. Yeah, we knew he was nice. He was nice with a uh, short hair, you know. Then with then with the dreads, yeah. Then right, with the short look. hair again. But with Chris Bosh, we know he can do twenty and ten. But when he got to Miami, he's like, "Come on, son." But the thing but is, he's with LeBron and Wade. He's with two like, ball dominant you players. Know, you know, you know. But he was. But if we're saying that he was underperforming, but you know your numbers is dropping though when you got people like LeBron and Wade. I mean, I it's even, like it's like the same thing for Kevin Love now. I wouldn't say he underperformed because it's such a a steep. Uh, learning curve when you were playing with, when you go from being the best player on the team to playing with two players that could do it better than you. Okay. Exactly, like you know, and like I said. one of them is probably the best player of our generation. It's it's a steep learning curve. Chris Bosh didn't get that learning curve until until that third year. Chris Bosh in this league, he he's considered a good guy, a funny dude. Yeah, like Bosh is funny. I remember in Toronto, he had he did because he's from Texas. He had a, um, you know, how people get all star votes. Mm-hmm. He he did a used car salesman pitch, put yeah. on YouTube to get votes. Bosh, you know, a family man, you can say. Yes. I don't know. Little Wayne might say something different. <laughs> <laughs> but cr- hearing this news, Chris Bosh's career possibly over, it, it's it's saddened in the NBA world. Yeah. Because I wanted I wanted to see I I like I like Chris Bosh coming in when I when I first. Ever since that game winner against Atlanta, the d- I like the Bosch. day after you saw. Yeah, like, ever happened. since that okay. game winner in, in Al Horford's face, I was practicing that move. But he's a lefty, so I had to do it the <laughs> other way. I was practicing that move, that step back, jab step, step back, pull up in your face. That move was was epic. And he, you know he's still a young player. He's only thirty two years old, so you know. Bosch is a coveted player in this league, NBA champion. He's been in the All Star game since uh, All Star selection. Since 2005, it's just saddened to hear a player like Chris Bosh might not even play ball again. This is Ben Zeno, the hero. Rob Jiggity, T-Trey in the cut. Yeah.